OMG Mabuhay Squad. You will not believe what Ligaya has learned to say. Mabuhay Squad. Ligaya can now say. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Cypher's name. Cypher. Come on, the guys, say it. Cypher. Mabuhai Squad, we heard her say Cypher. It was awesome. And she's saying other things too that I'm having problems making out, but she's making all these new. Was that it? Cypher. She's been saying I love you as well a lot lately, like a little more clearly than usual. And yeah, she totally said Cypher's name. Come on, Nagaya. Cypher. OMG, Mabuhai Squad, you won't believe what else she's learned. She's officially learned how to bark like Cypher. I'll try to catch it on camera. It's basically her interpretation of what a bark sounds like, but I realized it's Cypher's bark because it's in the same, like, key as Cypher's bark. There, that's the bark. She did it. I'll wait till she does it again. There, I think that was a bark. What are you saying? Cypher. There, I think she's saying Cypher. Cypher. Cypher, see, that's totally Cypher. Oh, Mabuhai Squad, I just did some research and apparently you guys know my sprouts, right? We're on day two of sprouting, yes? They still smell good. Apparently these can be fed to the dog as well, to Cypher. Ooh, it's apparently quite healthy for them mm, and people. How interesting. So maybe what I can do then is I can mix in a little bit of the sprouts into Cypher's food. That'll be great. See, this article here says, sprouted seeds are one of nature's superfoods. They contain highly bioavailable plant-based vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and probiotics that are not provided by meats. And plant-based enzymes are biologically active in a wider pH range compared to pancreatic meat-based enzymes. This means that the enzymes from sprouted seeds will support a dog's healthy gut flora in a larger portion of its digestive tract, where pH levels can vary considerably. Interesting. And then it basically simplifies the process. Sprouting equals germinating equals awakening of the dormant nutrients inside the seed, bean, or grain. Awesome. OMG, RJ, this is beautiful. We're having lunch now. Brunch. It's brunch, yeah. So beautiful. We got eggs. Is that paprika? Paprika, rosemary, rosemary, pepper, and pepper. Wow, sliced oranges. And guys, check this out. This is vegan corned beef. Corned beef. What? Plant-based corned beef, guys. Interesting. We got eggplant and infused water with like, what is that? Dalandan. Beautiful. So guys, this plant-based corned beef is from WTH Foods. PH. So follow them on social media. Guys, it finally happened and it's our fault, really. We had our first cord destroyed by the puppy. I mean, this is what I was expecting to happen. It's our fault, obviously. So this is now trash. All part of having a puppy, I guess. You, Cypher. Mm -hmm. Cypher loves Daddy RJ. It's giving RJ kisses now. Cypher loves napping. Like, I would say 40% of the day, Cypher's sleeping. Look, he finds this little pocket and then snuggles. Oh, so cute. Before I grabbed the camera, he was like fast asleep against RJ. I don't blame ya. He's quite comfortable to sleep with. <laughs> there he goes. He's desperately trying to find the most comfortable position. But this doesn't work. 
little too comfy if you ask me. Cypher, you're so silly. Honestly, adorable to the max. Just adorable. I love this. What a gift to witness moments like this. I wish he stayed this size. <laughs> He'll grow a little bit bigger, but he's just so cute. OMG. Miss Lagaya Summers is having an afternoon snack. Yes. Cardamom, hot peppers, vegetable, chop. Go ahead. Guys, take a look at this. On one paw, all his nails are white. See that? They're like light colored. But if you check out his other paw, see it? Black, white, black, white. You're so unique. Not symmetrical. Mm -hmm. He's so tricolor. He's like white, dark brown, like a chestnut brown. And then there's a light brown and white. But then there's also like red tinge. Let me see the red on your eyelid and your nose. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay, guys. So as you know, I'm sprouting my legumes, my seeds, and my grains for feeding to Ligaya. Again, it makes the food items much more nutritious. Certain nutrients become bioavailable for Ligaya. So I sprout them. Two or three times a day, you need to rinse the sprouts. We're now now on day two of sprouting but every day you need to rinse the sprouts and beans and then after that you need to add this this here is called grapefruit seed extract it's actually good for people too you have to drop a few drops in the water and let it soak for five minutes because you want to kill mold you don't want your sprouts to develop mold so just a few drops two three four five there we go and i'll let that soak for five minutes to kill any kind of like grossage that's developing while my seeds legumes and grains are sprouting now i love that this can also be fed to cypher and to us we could like i don't know make an omelet out of it do any of you guys sprout your seeds legumes or grains let me know in the comments I'm curious. Like, you essentially make the food items superfoods. Take note, all you Filipinos. Sprout your mungo and then cook it. It becomes so much more healthy. So, if you were not here when I prepared all of this, a couple of vlogs back, this here is uh, red lentils. There's millet in here and almonds. Here is mungo beans, mung beans, as they say in English. And this here is more millet and tricolor quinoa. And in order to sprout them, you need to soak them for a day in water, drain it, rinse it, and then put them in these sprouting jars where they can dry off and start their sprouting process. Yes. And if you look carefully, see they have little tails. They're essentially growing. See, see those little tails here too. See the quinoa? It's growing super healthy now. The mung beans, they're growing too. Oh yeah, and there's spelt in there too. See that grain there? That's spelt type of wheat. All you health buffs out there, you could put this and blend it into a shake, right? Like let's say you're having a protein shake. Put it in there, so healthy. Beh, do you think you could cook? with some of these sprouts. How would you make a meal out of it? Or just put it in salad, I guess, yeah. as is, raw, because the cooking process can destroy certain nutrients. Okay guys, yes, time to drain. All right, so it's been sitting in the grapefruit seed extract for five minutes or so. Um, and then we just drain. And you don't rinse after, that's the key, because the grapefruit seed extract solution needs to stay as a thin film over your sprouts to discourage bacteria. All right, but it's gotta be dry. No moisture, all right? There's my mung beans. Here we go with the quinoa millet. Yes, nicely drained. Shake out all of that water. Shake them out. I love these sprouting jars. I bought them online. Actually, I think we could easily make them if you're crafty. It's just a mesh top on mason jars. So you wanna leave the jars on an incline so that they can further drain because the sprouting process requires air. These seeds need air in order to sprout into little baby plants. So you don't want moisture sitting around. And also moisture leads to like mold. Who wants to eat mold, right? Who wants to eat fungus? Not me, unless it's mushrooms. <laughs> All right, there we go. Love it. And then tonight I will rinse all of this again, fill it with water, drain it, then fill it with clean water, and then add the grapefruit seed extract again to soak for five minutes, then drain. Just two more days of this, guys. All right, guys, and of course, speaking of health, diet and nutrition is only one part of it. You also gotta exercise. And here we are for our weekly workout. There's Raquel and Edmark. Hi, cuz. The workout looks tough. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, Cypher is our cheering squad. Yes, Cypher. The guy is on the sidelines playing with her toys, also cheering us on. Just kidding, she's probably like, these humans are doing that thing again. How strange. We're doing a hollow hold now, and I'm looking at Ligaya, trying to not think of the pain. 34 seconds, oh keep God. going. Ligaya's like, you humans do some strange things. Three, two, one. Ugh. We're done. Thank you so much, Edmark and Raquel. Um, if you guys want to work out what we just did, follow Raquel on Instagram, totally rock. She usually posts our workouts, and you guys could do the workouts with us. Thank you, Kaz. Congrats, Edmark. And Raquel, and congrats to you, Be. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I love this barrier, this gate, because yeah. it's fully shapeable. See that? I canceled my order online because yeah, RJ, RJ like ordered a very beautiful uh, like fancy. gate made of plastic. It looked like a baby's like pen, but this one is just so practical. And then if we travel, it's e we can easily just pack it up and bring it with us. And it's very vloggable. Yeah, it's vlog friendly because I can still see Cipher through the bars. Whereas if it was like the thick plastic. I would have to come here like for you guys to see him. You guys want to see my dance for Ligaya? I do this for her every day. Yes, Ligaisies. 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 How embarrassing, Ligaya. I showed them our ritual. They'll never understand. Do you guys do weird funny dances for your pets? <laughs> One time I did it for Cypher, our dance. I said, yes, the Cyphees. Yes, the Cypheors. And she did not appreciate that. She's like, that is our dance. How dare you? <laughs> Ligaya started barking again. It doesn't really sound like a bark. It sounds like, I don't know, I guess a bird interpretation of a bark. But I'm pretty sure she's going to get better better at it eventually. Come on, bark like Cypher. It's coming, Mabu High Squad, trust me. There, that's the bark. There, that's the bark. There. There, there's the bark. Did you hear that? There. <laughs> I can tell it's the bark, guys, because there's like a growl to it, and Ligaya never used to do that. I don't know, do you guys hear it? She's definitely mimicking Cypher's bark. There. See? That's totally Cypher's bark. Wow, wow. Are, are you a dog now? There it is again. Say Cypher. He's like, you calling me? Oh, she's barking at him. Cypher, she's barking at you. She can speak your language. So guys, I want to show you something really, really cool. So first of all, look at the tank. Beautiful, right? It's really flourishing. It just gets more and more beautiful as time goes. But I want to show you guys my awesome Amano shrimp. Now, if you know aquariums, Amano shrimp are very popular. But I found out that these guys are special. They're an Australian species of Amano shrimp because the popular kind are usually from Japan. But these are Amano shrimp from Australia. Different species. Caridina tipas, I believe. And look at the color. When I first got them, they were like, clear now they're just this beautiful like cryptic color which helps them blend into the background there's another one right there just gorgeous and this one happens to be pregnant and they're big so like my angelfish don't bother them because usually you can't keep shrimp with angelfish because the angelfish will eat them but these are pretty large but isn't that awesome now i asked the distributor the person i bought the shrimp from i'm like Wow, they changed color. And he said that this is their natural form and that they only change color when the water quality is like 
supreme. So that's a good sign. That means the water quality in this tank is really good. I mean, I would hope so. I pay enough for the instruments to keep this water quality optimal. But isn't it so nice? Just beautiful. I love looking at it. She's pregnant. Let's hope she has babies. Good morning. Yes. Stretch. Yes. Good doggy. Let's go pee. Good morning. Good morning. Look at you stretching your wings. Did you sleep well? The guy of Summers is hanging out with us here on the couch. And Cypher is like dying to meet her. Cypher, Cypher. No. Who's that? No, not ready to go together yet. I'm just like afraid that. I don't know. Well, the guy doesn't seem stressed. She's just looking at him. I'm just concerned that he will smother her. You know what I mean? He look at Cypher. Yeah, Cypher, what's up? I, I don't know if they're ready. And then like, Legaya has weapons on her face, obviously. So like, I'm concerned for Cypher too, if he's not careful. Yeah. I'll just kind of like read. The time will come when we can officially let them meet. But I think it's too soon. Hashtag too soon. Yeah. Look at how scruffy her feathers are because she's molting. You're having not so good feather day. Is that Cypher? She's looking at Cypher. You ready to meet him? <laughs> she's like, I don't know, just pet me. This is my couch time. <laughs> okay guys, positive affirmation for Thursday, July the 9th. I am open and receptive to the next step on my spiritual pathway. Ooh, love it. There you go guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. Cypher! 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 Good boy! Guys, it's time for Cypher to do something special! Mm-hmm. Mabuhai squad, it's time! Cypher is up for something truly fun and I can't wait to show you what's up next for our little puppy. Check it out! <laughs> 